Hi! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about a Peruvian scientist Marina Morikawa. First let me tell about Peruvian scientist Marina Morikawa. Peruvian scientist Marina Morikawa, who revived polluted wetlands in 15 days using nanotechnology, now plans to try to clean up Lake Titicaca and the Huacashina Lagoon, an oasis in the middle of the desert. El Cascayo, an ecosystem of roughly 50 hectares, 123 acres in Chanque district, located north of Lima, began its recovery in 2010 with two inventions that Morikawa came up with using his own resources and money. The idea of restoring the wetlands came from a call from Morikawa's father, who told the scientist that El Cascayo, where they used to go fishing when Marino was a child, was in very bad condition, Morikawa told if. Marina Morikawa, who earned a degree in environmental science from Japan's Tsukuba University, visited the wetlands and found a dump for sewage ringed by an illegal landfill where migratory birds fed. The stinky swamp was covered by aquatic plants. Wow! Now my friend Hunk will tell few words about the pollution. Hi my name is Hunk. I will tell a few words pollution. Two thirds of the Earth's surface is covered by water. 76 perfect of your body is made up of water. As you already know water is everywhere and all around. However, we have a fixed amount of water on Earth. It just changes its states and goes through a cyclic order, known as the water cycle. What is water pollution? Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies like oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, aquifers and groundwater usually caused due to human activities. Water pollution is any change in the physical, chemical or biological properties of water that will have a detrimental consequence on any living organism. Drinking water, also called potable water, is the water that is considered safe enough for human and animal consumption. This is water that is generally used for drinking, cooking, washing, crop irrigation etc. These days chemicals, bacteria and other pollutants are even affecting our drinking water. Water pollution is a major problem. So please save Lake River. I think you got the description about pollution. Now let me show what scientist Marina Morikawa did. Let's go to the- Hi! The guy you see next to me is solving one of the hardest problems in the world. Hi! My name is Marino. But first, let me tell you what the problem is. Pollution. See? Lakes like this one are contaminated. And according to data, this is the case for 40% of the world's lakes and rivers. So when Marino's childhood lake also got contaminated... I had to do something about it. This scientist with a PhD degree from a Japanese university took a break from school, went to a bank, got a loan and dedicated his time to fix my lake. He came up with a unique solution. You put this solution in dirty lake water and BAM! The solution attracts the contaminated particles and floats them to the top. And this is so environmentally friendly that you can eat it. Because it's 100% organic. So after 15 minutes, you can see the difference between a clean and polluted water. If I can clean this cup, then I can clean whole lake. So he went to his childhood lake and dropped a ton of his solution, treated it with biofilters, nanotechnology, and crazy biology, and after a few months, he was able to transform the lake from this to this. Full 180 degree transformation that created a lake clean of parasites, bacteria and pollution. The birds came back and people did too. What is this method that you used? I used the nanotechnology, but the nanotechnology used in the wastewater treatment. But I used in the wetland and the natural habitat. And why don't more people do this? Because it's expensive and it's very hard, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. That's why now Marino is thinking big. He wants to clean Peru's biggest lake. This. With an entire team, 
PhDs in science, millions of dollars in funding, patented technology, and a noble goal of making the world cleaner for everybody. Wow, that's amazing. I think every country should do what scientist Marina Morikawa did. He is our inspiration to everyone. Let's save our nature and live a happy and healthy life. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe and like the video. Also visit my blog for amazing tech deals. Link is on description.